how's it going? Welcome back if you've been here before. So today I am reviewing the Volkswagen ID Buzz and I am super excited. So I just wanted to give a little quick first impression. This is one of the coolest looking electric vehicles that I have had the chance to drive yet and it is definitely one that is turning a lot of heads everyone is kind of looking at it like well what is that so I think everyone is very intrigued by it whether they like it or not is another thing but personally I think it's really cool looking a lot of space inside which is great and this video is just going to be a review so I'm going to show you what I like what I dislike and just let you know how I get on with my test drive so I picked it up around probably 30 minutes ago so many so many people staring at it um, but the fact that it's electric as well I think is what is going to amaze people so I want to say a massive thank you to TJ Hamilton in Cookstown for letting me take it out on a test drive. I really appreciate it. And definitely check them out for their latest offers on vehicles. But over the next few minutes, I am going to give you my thoughts and feelings on the ID Buzz. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Even as I'm recording this video, everyone in the traffic that I'm currently stopped at is just literally staring at it. Like there's not a single car that hasn't looked at it. They're nearly breaking their neck to have a, have a peek. So yeah, some people might hate that, that they're bringing a lot of attention to themselves um, if they get this. Um, but I think as, as the years go on, we are going to start seeing a lot more vehicles with quite exciting designs so it's probably going to be a thing of the past right now electric vehicles are still kind of quite fresh um, this one is definitely one that has took a, a big risk with the design I think um, one that I think pays off because it's really cool so I think if you were to say ask me like Maybe ask anyone 10 to 20 years ago what they thought an electric vehicle might look like they might have come up with something like this um, from the inside it's quite spaceshipy as well um, from the driver's position to the front of the glass from the outside it looks quite small but when you're in it it's very big so it's nearly quite to me it comes off quite spaceshipy um, which is cool and I like it so thank you for watching and tuning in and I will let you know how we get on in the next few minutes uh, with this review so so how is the Volkswagen ID Buzz to drive really fun actually and surprisingly it's very quick for for the weight of this van you expect it to be a little bit slow but when you put your foot down it can it can definitely get some speed it's very quiet as well to drive my thing about this is that I'm you near because it's such a it's such a unique design of a van you're nearly judging it on the looks rather than the drive which is a bit weird for a car if you're going to buy this you're probably going to buy it more so based on the looks of it and maybe the practicality of of what you can fit in it which is it's kind of weird for a car because you obviously want it to be a nice drive but this is one of those electric vehicles that I think people are probably going to buy it because they love the look of it rather than how it drives. So up front here, uh, driving position is really comfortable, really like it. It's really hard to describe when you're sitting in the front of this, the glass seems so far away to you when you're driving and then it's very spaceshipy like 
it's nearly as if you're playing a video game or you've got like an AR headset on. Unless you've sat on one, I don't think you'll you'll kind of understand what I mean. But it's 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 weird, but it's cool. But I just don't know what to make of it. If I love it or if I hate it. Um, but to drive this thing, it's lovely to drive. Really nice, nice and smooth. When you do drive around, you will get so many people looking at you, amazed at what they're just. I think they're really intrigued by what this is. I think I've seen a few people laugh at it. Um, and some people being like, what the hell is that? Like, it's it's a very unique car, um, looks-wise. When you're inside it, though, there's so much space. So in the back here, we have loads of room. I am five foot nine, and I have loads of headroom here. Loads of space, loads of leg room. There is no little bump here, so it's a flat surface the whole way through, which is amazing. On the back of the seats here, you have a little tray as well. So you could do a little bit of eating, uh, put your iPad on it, I'd say that would hold it. And you have, you have a little drinks holder as well. And in the back of the seat, you also have a little pouch where you can put your phone. So in the back here with the seats down, you have loads of room. You have a little bit of storage under here. At the minute, this is just some of the stuff from the dealership. And you can slide the full way up to the back of the seats. So it's pretty cool. So with the seats down in the van, you definitely have loads of room for furniture, suitcases, and anything else that you want to throw in here. You definitely also have a lot more storage with the little under lay here. Um, you can slide stuff up the whole way through, which is pretty cool. So for people like myself that's looking forward to the California version of this van, the good news about this one is that you could most definitely sleep in it. You might not just get a lot of sleep if you don't have blinds, but you could definitely fit long ways in this with the seats down. Even with the seats up, you still have loads of room for your luggage and groceries in the back. This version of the Buzz also comes with a nice little tow hitch if you wanted to do some towing. Okay, so this is for anybody that wants to see the front of the ID Buzz. To be honest with you, I wasn't sure what to expect when I opened it. Whether it was going to open up or down. But it literally just opens out like this. And that is the front of the ID Buzz. Comfort wise for the driver, you have a lot of adjustment in the seat. So that can go pretty high, go far back. So if you're in the front, you will be very comfortable. You have the screen in front again, as per usual, with the ID range, and we also have the two armrests, which I really love, and that seems to be standard across the ID range as well. Um, we have this kind of, it's like a plasticky wood effect here, which is really nice, and we have so much room in the dash, um, which is really hard to show in a video. But comfort wise, you will not be disappointed. Something so simple, but something that I really love is this little hidden drinks compartment. There are loads of USB-C ports around the van. You have some ports here on the driver's side and somewhere to pop your phone into. A little bit of a random detail, I found this little winking, smiling face. Don't know what it's about, but it's a cool little detail. Another cool little bit of detail is this little van on the side of the chairs in the back. So I noticed this random little USB-C port on the windscreen. And I'm not sure if it's potentially for somewhere that you could plug in your dash cam or if it's for maybe VW to do like diagnostics on that sensor there. But 
it's a nice little random place to have a USB-C port and just something I wanted to point out. Technology wise it's pretty good. I'm still not a massive fan of the touch button controls. You can obviously control stuff with the voice assistant in the car, which is really cool. Um, but the things that let it down a little bit are those kind of buttons to cr try and activate things, um, which is poor. So there's some things that I love about this display and then some things I don't really like. Um, I love how big it is. So it's a lovely big display. When you're using the likes of maps, the display is brilliant because the map comes up so big and so clear. On likes of Spotify and everything, going through it's amazing. One thing that I don't like though is that the screen seems to be tilted more to the passenger side rather than the driver side. And you can't change that obviously. I know you shouldn't be looking at the screen when you're driving, but it's a little bit fidgety when you're trying to change the controls. And that's another thing that I don't like about the display is that the controls, these touch controls, don't like them. Um, another thing at nighttime, they don't light up. I'm not sure if there's a setting that can be changed so that they do light up, but if you are looking to change like the climate or the volume, you kind of have to look down and remember where each one is, um, which can be a little bit hard when you first get the car. Um, so that's the other thing that I don't like. Although I'm not a massive fan of how you get to the climate controls in the ID range, I do really like this smart climate feature. So when you get into the climate controls, you have smart climate and it can basically do your quick heating or cooling that you want. So you've got defog windows, warm my feet, warm hands, cool my feet. And obviously when you tap them, that will do exactly what you want. You can also use the smart assistant to do that, but I do really like the fact that you have these little shortcuts here. So something that they have changed from the previous ID3, 4 and 5 is that they have actually moved the gear selector from up beside the screen to down here. And I actually really like that. But the only thing is sometimes I try to put my wipers on by doing this. Thankfully it won't move because you have to kind of click it forward and backwards. Whereas everything is done now on this side. So for your wipers, you have to pull this up and down. And then this is for your rear wiper. It takes a while to get used to for sure, but I do like how they've moved this from up here to down here. One thing it takes a while to get used to is how far away the front windscreen is from the steering wheel. It's nearly like it's really far ahead of you. And I have said that it's a little bit spaceship-like. One thing that I would compare it to is nearly like having an AR headset on when you're driving. And you'll only understand that when you get inside and drive one. I do like the view that you have out the front, but it definitely takes a while to get used to. I actually quite really like the Buzz. Um, there's obviously a few little flaws with it, but it's really nice to drive. The fact that it's so big and it's an electric van, it just still blows my mind. And I do think it's a little bit expensive, so a lot of people are gonna be put off by that. So it starts from 57,000 pounds. If it had maybe three, 400 miles range, it'd be a no brainer really. But because it's so expensive and the range isn't that high, it might put a lot of people off. I'm most excited for the California version of this because I think it's gonna be incredible and it's gonna change how people camp really. I'm so excited to see what they do with the Buzz California whenever it comes out, how they're going to differentiate the engine to the likes of the electric. So they're gonna have two different charging points. Um, how's it gonna work? Um, It'll be interesting to see if anybody will modify the buzz itself to have a pop top, which will be quite cool. Um, you, don't, you still can definitely sleep in this, as I've showed you, um, which is quite cool. Um, but you definitely need to get some blinds or something made for it. But 
overall, I really have enjoyed my time with the Buzz. It's probably the most excited I've been driving and getting to drive an electric car in a long time. Um, mainly so for the looks of it, and maybe that's a bad thing, maybe it's a good thing, but definitely consider it. I would definitely go and have a test drive in it, even just go and sit in one just so you can see it. Um, it's, it's pretty unique. Thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate the time you take to watch the video. Um, if you could subscribe, that would be amazing. I'm kind of starting to build my YouTube videos now. So doing home technology, doing electric cars and other little gadgets. So I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe. That would be amazing. But thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I hope you have enjoyed the review of the Volkswagen ID Buzz.